Happy Monday, you guys. It is time for Monday meal prep or Monday meal planning, whatever you guys would like to call it. Today, instead of showing you what I uh, am prepping this week, which I am doing some prepping, I may throw some pictures in there to show you guys what I'm prepping. I thought I'd give you six easy tips to get started with meal planning. We're just going to start off and I'll just tell you each one and a little bit about each one and why I think it's important and how I do each step. Let's start with number one. Okay, so step number one that I take for when I'm doing my meal prep is I look at my week on my calendar. So know your needs. Know that, say, this week you're going to have three days out of the house running errands or doing something with the family or running the kids back and forth or maybe you're working late like I have three days a week that I work outside of the home so I know that those are three days that I need to prepare meals for or at least get ahead on my prep so know your needs for the week and then make a plan <clears throat> what I mean by make a plan is after you know that those days are going to be busy for you write a meal plan down it could be all three meals for your family. It could be just dinners that you need help with. It could be just breakfast items that you need. But just make a plan. I write it down. <clears throat> I just write my meal plan down just in a regular spiral notebook that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Or they have those fancy meal planning books. If you have those, use that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But just make a plan for your busy days. And then the third thing is... So, know your need is number one, make a plan for number two, which is a meal plan, or schedule a time to go out to eat if on that busy day if you guys do that. So, number one, I said, I'm repeating myself, but number one is know your need, number two is make a plan, and number three would be keep it simple. So, keep it simple when you're making your list of what days you're going to be busy and what meals you want to make on those days. That will save you so much time. Um, those may be not the days that you want to try a new Dream Healthy Mama or a low carb casserole. That may be something where you have low carb wraps or taco salad or put a roast in the crock pot. So keep it simple. That will save you a lot of time and it's so much easier <clears throat> when you're, excuse me, when you're meal planning or meal prepping if you keep it simple. Save those meals that you want to try that take a little bit more time for days when you're not busy or out of the house a lot or when you're not working. So number four was keep it simple. Number five would be to multitask. And five and six kind of go together. Multitask is number um, five and double recipes is number six. And those two tips, like I say, work together. When you are doubling cooking dinner just double the recipe so up before when you were making your plan on your shopping list before you go shopping make sure that you write enough for those ingredients to make two batches that way you can prepare dinner that night and you can always put one in the freezer or make a larger batch and you can eat on um dinner that night and maybe uh lunches throughout the day sorry someone was <laughs> looking at me as they drove by me and my talking hand and camera here i hope they don't have a wreck but <laughs> anyway so i got distracted so make double batches freeze one for one of the days when you're going to be busy make it one of your favorites or <clears throat> or eat it through the lunches if lunches is when you have a problem then make a big double batch or extra large pot of your favorite the night before and then you have lunches prep for the rest of the week it's just simple things like that. It doesn't have to be days worth of cooking that you do or six or seven hours a day. Just simple things by making a plan for those days that you have needs or that you're going to be out of the house. Make a meal plan. Shop for that meal plan. Keep it simple. Double recipes at dinner when you're cooking so those will be extra lunches or another night's dinner. And multitask, which is like cooking uh, tomorrow's dinner while you're cooking this dinner. <clears throat> the one thing that I would say that will help the most when you follow these things is um, to stick to the plan. I'm not saying that your days can't be flexible. Like if you don't want, say you plan spaghetti uh, with low carb noodles for Monday night and it turns out your plans got changed <clears throat> and now that meeting's on Thursday night or you don't want spaghetti, that's fine. Just flip those two knots. And then you can have it different nights. But try and stick to your shopping plan and stick to your meal plan. Not only will that save you time and stress later, but that will also help on your budget. Um, 
and I say that because I used to not do a meal plan and I just put it in my hand and then I would forget things at the grocery store or we would get to say a Wednesday night and before church I didn't want to eat the roast that I had in crock pot I know you've never done that before right and then I would go to the store and get sandwich meat so that's okay if that's something you want to do but for me I'm, I stick to a budget I try and follow that budget and so when I buy things for my grocery list and I work on that meal plan I know that I've got to stick to that because every extra time that I go to the store I'm going to spend extra money that was not in that budget so I hope that you are learning something from this meal plan I certainly am not an expert I'm still learning myself I learn something new every single day I just know that these are tips that help me when I organize my meals for the week and it makes it so much easier on the nights that we have um, that I have on the days that I have to work or on the nights that we have homeschool activities or church so let's go over the six things again M know your need and make a plan for those de needs um, like know what days you're gonna need meals prepped ahead and that, that'll save you time Make a list and shop for your plan, your meal plan, that meal plan that you made out because your needs, shop for that. Keep it fit, simple and multitask and double recipes. Those five or six steps are very simple. They're not genius ideas that I've had. They're just things that I have to keep me on plan and keep my meal plan running smoothly and my budget. So I hope this little bit has helped you. And if you have any tips that you have for your meal plan and meal prep, meal plan and meal prep, or speaking plainly, because you know, obviously I need help with that too, put those tips in the bottom because I would love to hear it. I think next week we'll cover a little bit more on meal prep. Maybe uh, I'll show you some of the containers that I use to do some of my meal prep. If you have any ideas that things that you would like to see on meal prep, or maybe some. If you'd just like to see me doing more meal prep as far as what recipes I use for freezer meals and stuff, you can also leave that comment below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that little bell icon down below so you'll see all my new videos. Thanks you guys for stopping by and I am so thankful for each and every one of you today and I hope you have a blessed week.